Alright, so this video here we're going to look at uh, sum and difference identities. Uh, we have the sum and difference identities for sine, cosine, and tangent. And in this is the this will be the fourth example that I do for uh, this type of problem. Uh, we're going to be given some information and we have to solve for like either tangent A plus B, tangent A, or tangent B in this problem. Uh, and in my other three examples we're given the information over here and we have to find the like sine A plus B or cosine A plus B, tangent A plus B, stuff like that. And I do have some other videos on sum and difference uh, identities where we're using the sum and difference identities to find the exact value of say like sine 75 degrees or cosine 105 degrees. They're a little bit different than the ones I'm doing here. But it would be beneficial uh, to check out all my videos of this type. There's an example one, example two, example three, and this one is example four. Uh, they're they're all a little bit different, so it, I try to cover everything that you're gonna that you might come across. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if tangent a plus b equals two, and tangent b equals one third, find tangent a. So this one's a little bit different than the first than the first three examples. In this one, they're actually giving us tangent a plus b. In the other examples, we've had to uh, we've had to solve for like tangent a plus b, uh, sine a plus b, cosine a plus b. So let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is let's just go ahead and write down the formula. So I have tangent a plus b is equal to tangent a plus tangent b over 1 minus tangent a tangent b. All right. All right, so let's see what all we have. Well, we know tangent a plus b. They tell us that's 2. We know tangent b and tangent b here. Okay, tangent b is 1 third. And we're looking for tangent a. So you can see tangent a is our only unknown. So let's go ahead and plug everything in and see what happens. So tangent a plus b is 2, so that gives me 2 equals tangent a, I don't know that, plus tangent b, and tangent b is 1 third, over, and then that's 1 minus, I don't know, tangent a, and then tangent b is one-third. Alright, so now what we have to do is we have to solve for tangent A. So this doesn't look like a whole lot of fun, does it? Um, I guess the, I don't know, maybe the easiest thing to do would be maybe first, let's rewrite it. And all I'm doing here is I'm writing the one-third in front of tangent A. That's all I did. All right. So I think what we might want to do is get the fraction out, get rid of this fraction. So just looking at this right-hand side, we can get rid of the fraction uh, by multiplying each term by the common denominator. And the common denominator is 3. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this term by 3, this term by 3, the 1 by 3, the 1 times 3, and this times 3. All right. So this is going to give me 2 equals 3t 
cotangent A plus, and you can see here the threes will cancel, plus one over three times one is three minus, and then here the threes cancel, and I'm left with tangent A. <clears throat> Alright, so here Remember what we can do here? We can cross multiply. So that's going to give me 2 times 3 minus tangent A equals, and then 1 times this is just going to give me 3 tangent A plus 1. And then I want to distribute the 2. And so that's going to give me 6 minus 2 tangent A equals 3 tangent A plus 1. Alright, so now it's just kind of like solving for X, but we're just solving for tangent A. So I'm going to, I don't know, how about we just add 2 tangent A to both sides. and then we'll subtract 1 to both sides so that's going to give me 5 equals 5 tangent A and then I'll divide both sides by 5 and so that's going to give me tangent A is equal to 1 and so that's my answer all right, so um, the the main thing to do with these, and this goes for all the other videos that I worked like this, the main thing you have to do is just write the formula down. Okay, write the formula down, see what all information there that they give you to plug in, and see what you need or see what you have to solve for. And that's, that's basically what it is. So I hope this video's helped. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to them. And thank you for watching.